Hello, my name is John Grothy. I'm the director of golf at Bandon Dunes. Welcome to the 78th Oregon Junior Amateur. It was a long week of competition beginning with more than 250 junior golfers age 8 to 17 divided between the Bandon Trails and Bandon Dunes layouts at Bandon Dunes Golf Resort in Bandon, Oregon, where titles for the best junior golfers in the region were awarded at the 78th Oregon Junior Amateur. 25 finals matches were conducted on the final day of competition, with the championship flights in each division teeing off in order for March of the Champions to determine the top golfer in each of the seven divisions. The first championship final was contested in the Pee Wee division between Dylan Wu of Medford, Oregon and John Nichols of Eagle Crest. Nichols started strong and had Wu down three after the first four holes, but Wu, who was last year's runner-up, was determined not to finish in similar fashion. He fought back to get the match all square by the eighth hole and never looked back, shooting seven pars and just two bogeys in the last nine holes to win the match on the 16th hole, four and two. It means a lot to me, it means a lot to my mom and my dad and my grandma, which helped me support here the tournament. It feels good to actually to win one tournament. Next off the tee was the Intermediate Girls Division with Morgan Thompson of Tualatin facing Tess Jennings of Portland. Thompson advanced to the finals by beating perennial favorite Ashley Pickerel of Salem 2-1 and, and as the number two seed became the odds-on favorite to win. Both players got off to a rough start, but once Thompson's nerves settled down after the fourth hole, she clearly was in control of her game, scoring pars on 10 straight holes and only one bogey in 13 holes to win the match on the 17th hole, 2-1. and one. It worked for me. I played really well. Like the first day, I shot 74, which was my personal best, and then uh, a couple days ago, I was like 3 under par on 17, or 4 under par, so it was really good for me. The most remarkable story was in the intermediate boys matchup between Connor Oliver of Sandy and medalist Bo Scott of Washougal, Washington. Not long after winning the Pee Wee Boys title in 2006, Oliver was diagnosed with leukemia and was unable to play last year as he underwent chemotherapy treatment to combat the disease. To this day, he takes daily oral doses of chemo and makes a monthly hospital visit. With his tiring trek to the finals and his stamina questionable, Oliver needed to take command of the match as early as possible. He lost the first hole but gained it back quickly after two. By the eighth hole he was four up, but that was when he began to stumble. At the turn he was visibly tired and had an upset stomach opening the door for Scott, who was able to almost bring the match to even. But Oliver's will to succeed and perseverance, along with Scott hitting his ball into an environmental hazard, forced Scott to concede the match, with Oliver winning three and two. It was great, and just great to be out here playing. Best golf course I've ever played. The boys division pitted defending champion Thomas Arand of McMinnville against Alex King of Portland, Oregon. King was never down in the match and a lost ball in the final hole forced the final result with King winning 4-2. I had like a tough round, you know, I don't know how I managed to get through but you know, I just kept hanging on there and you know, made it through. The most competitive match of the day was in the girls' division, with Seychelle Tellis of Tualatin competing against one of her best friends on the junior circuit, medalist Amy Beth Simonton of Lake Oswego. The day prior, the two joked about taking the match to extra holes, with Tellis lamenting that she had never beaten Simonton in match play. It was a display of incredible golf. Between the two, they only missed three fairways all day. For most of the day, it appeared that no one wanted to take control of the match, as it went back and forth, and it was the only match to go the full 18 holes. On the final hole, Tellis stuck her approach to within three feet of the hole and then had the easy eagle putt conceded by Simonton after she lipped out her birdie putt, making the outcome inevitable. Tellis finished the day two under par to win one up. It was hard. Um, since we're really good friends and everything, it was kind of tough playing against each other. Like, 
we kind of didn't talk because we knew that once someone won, the other person, we kind of felt bittersweet about it. So. The marquee match of the day was the junior championship final between Bobby Monaco of Eugene and Connor Rump of Sherwood. Unlike the girls match, which was competitive all day, it appeared Monaco would roll over Rump. Neither player scored particularly well, but Monaco scored just a little better than Rump, taking a commanding four-hole lead in the first four holes. In fact, Rump got the match back to all square by the 13th hole before the wheels truly fell off. On the final hole, both players drove the ball poorly. But while Monaco got safely back to the fairway, Rumpf had a bad break with his next shot going into a greenside bunker, and he was stymied with no opportunity to advance the ball, and Monaco won the match 3-2. and two. And uh, he didn't make the shots that he needed to make, striking the ball, and I hit good shots and came out on top. The last flight to tee off was the Pee Wee girls who play only nine holes with Gigi Soul of Portland winning 4-2 over Salem's Deanna Salvatore. Soul has dominated the division for the last two years, and it was no surprise that she won here, especially when she was at even par through the seven holes played. Um, I was playing really well. I sunk a like 20-footer for birdie, and then I went two up, and so I, got, I was excited about that. Well, it's beyond even a dream to have Kemper sports and band and do and do this it's just uh, uh we've come a long way in golf as you can see and read the history of band and dunes and all that uh, mr kaiser is uh, very involved in perpetuating amateur golf and this is where it starts with the juniors on behalf of michael kaiser the owner of band and dunes and camper sports the management company and all of us who have the privilege of working here at band and dunes I just want to reflect on what a great privilege it is to have been the host site for the 78th uh, Oregon Junior Amateur. We had to shut down the uh, golf courses in a sense of having them not be available to our regular customers. Uh, and so uh, with 36 holes out of commission, I hope that's reflective of our commitment and belief in uh, the development of junior golf. Uh, we would do it again, and we probably will do it again. Uh, we would concede. Uh, uh, those rounds that we need to in the high season to to make sure that uh, the young people of this state or any amateur group of this status would have the opportunity to come here and play. Oregon Junior Golf is a 501c3 charitable foundation and is a subsidiary of the Oregon Golf Association, the governing body of the sport for Oregon and Southwest Washington.